Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. Hope you're having a wonderful day. On this quick video, I'm gonna show you the um, finished book picture frames that we started yesterday. They turned out super cute. I added a few sort of different doodads to them and um, I just wanted to share what they look like. So let me start with the one that you didn't see. Um, this morning I was thinking, dang, I really wish I would have done one with that darling stencil of the dog uh, paw prints. So I found another book and I used white chalk paste and then I sprayed it when it was dry and then I attached one of these little clippy doos and tied a little white ribbon on it. And um, I just think this is so cute. And you know, it makes me <clears throat> think that, um, that this would be, this uh, dog paw print would be a good stencil to use. If you're trying to make book picture frames for any uh, schools that have like either cats or cougars or dogs or wolves, whatever the mascot might be that would have paw prints like this. I mean, I was thinking about our school, University of Georgia, they're the dogs, D-A-W-G-S, and um, these are not the dog colors, but I could get a black book and use red for the paw prints or do the opposite. So anyways, I thought this turned out pretty cute. I was happy with it. And the people in the pictures are my son and his fiance. And that's because I have their pictures out right now because I'm working on um, pictures to bring to the rehearsal dinner. Here, I'm just trying to drop a pin in case anybody wants to um, look at the stencils that I'm gonna show you. Okay, I think I did it today. I didn't pin other people's comments instead. Okay, here's another fun one that I dressed up after the fact. They were at one of their fraternity sorority weekend events or something. So let me take the picture off and show you. For this one, I used the wood grain stencil. It was um, the, in, the, the, the book was black, so I used the silver chalk paste. And then I glued on this little clippy do in silver and I took one of my vintage buttons. Can you guys see that? And I just glued it into the hole that is at the top of the little clippy do. I'm calling them clippy do's because I don't know what they're actually called. So clippy do works. Okay, let me show you what that one looks like. Here's this one. This is a really cute stencil too. And there's tons of different things that you could do from using the whole stencil to just using it in pieces to using it layering. Um, it's an awesome stencil. Okay, and if you're just jump, jumping on, these books are made with stuff from my husband's bookshelf because he was donating a bunch of books to, um, a, a, to a charity and I just happened to grab a few of them that I knew I would want to craft with. And then um, the little clippy doos are from Dollar Tree and then the stencils and chalk paste are all from Magnolia Design Company, and I put a link down here. Okay, so isn't that cute? Don't you think that just adding the button and the little black ribbon adds a lot to it? And how these got, these work is you just slightly spread them out, spread them open, come down just a little bit, and they'll stand up. Pretty cool, huh? They look super cute on your bookshelf. Um, they'd be, they're just different and they would be a fun gift to give to grandma with pictures of the grandkids. Um, she's gonna say, what am I, why are these on a book? And then you're gonna show her how she can stand it up and she's gonna say, that's darling, you know. Okay, um, let me show you another one. Okay, this one we made also yesterday. Thought it was on here. And um, we used that same wood grain stencil. And then just to do something different, I wanna tell you a to do and a not to do. 
which I think that's why it's good that I do some of my crafts off camera before I come live so I can figure out what all the don'ts are to be able to share with you. Okay, so what I did is I put um, just a band of ribbon there in black and then I attached it inside. But what I started to do is I started to use my um, Cool Shot Hot Glue Gun and you can still see I did the best I could to get it off. It created this big lump which looked terrible under the ribbon. So I took it off, threw that ribbon away, tried using my fingernails to scratch as much of that glue lump off. Can you see it? And then I just used that glue, let me get it out, that we used last week, um, this one. Fabri Fix. It's from Hobby Lobby. And I just put it on with a paintbrush and then put my ribbon on and it, it was pretty easy. And then I tied a little uh, black ribbon, same thing, up here on the top around my little clippy do. And then I'm just using this picture of my son and his fiance from one of the family weddings that we went to a couple of years ago in Rhode Island. Yeah, I think that turned out pretty cute. So, it, I mean, it's a big difference between this and this, but it's the same stencil. Okay, um, here's another one that we did yesterday. And this one we did, we used the leopard print stencil and a blue chalk paste. Okay, let me take the picture off and show you. And for this one, I wanted it to be kind of dressy. So I took a big, a, a wide gross grain navy blue ribbon and I did it along the, this is what we would have seen if I hadn't done that. And it's just glued inside. I used the fabric, this stuff, and not hot glue this time because I had learned my lesson. And I put a silver clippy do on there and then I, you know, I'm not usually a bling girl, but maybe I could be, I'm not sure. Um, so I did, um, I put a vintage little blingy button on the top of it. Hey, I haven't said any of my normal stuff. How are you guys doing today? Um, hey, Linda. Hi, Amy. Hey, Mary. Uh, hi, Gail. Hey, Joan. Oops, I just lost my comments. I don't know what I did. I hope they're still there. Yes, they are. Okay. Um, as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you're interested, you wanna just take a peek at the different stencils that I used for some of these books. And we're not done yet. Um, there's a link at the bottom. I pinned a link and it says uh, magnoliadiy.com. That's the link to my website. And then I do wanna tell you that there's different sizes of stencils. So don't just look at the eight by 11. You gotta click the filter button so you can get to all the other sizes. Okay, and then I just took a pretty picture of my son and his fiance from again, another, I don't know, fraternity sorority something or other. And doesn't that look cute? I may actually take these books to the wedding just like this because at the, rehears the rehearsal dinner, because, which is coming up on the 30th of July, um, because I need some decorations for a few spots for the rehearsal dinner. Okay, here's another one, which I think turned out really cute. Let me get my... This was the polka dot one, and I used a, a gold clip, is that gold or silver? I can't tell. It's gold, a gold clippy do, and then a brand, little round black vintage button. And this is just a picture of them. I don't know what they were doing, but in our backyard. So I didn't add anything extra to this. I could have added some black and white ribbon. I mean, you guys, what I have discovered in doing DIY dreaming and then having the dreamy DIY group is um, when you guys take an idea that I've showed here 
and make it your own and take pictures and share it over there. Most of the time, 99% of the time, your finished products are so much better than mine. So that makes me happy because it, it tells me that I'm giving you new ideas and my goal is for you to take them and make them yours in your style, your color, to go in your decor for the gifts that you wanna make. So anyways, yeah, there's some pretty amazing craft projects over there and I can't wait to see over the next few weeks because I know you guys will start making these book picture frames. I can't wait to see what you do to jazz them up. Okay, there's one more. And this one I had already done. It's just the, um, the wood grain again. This time I used black chalk paste because the book was gray. And then I used a silver clippy do, and I put a big black ribbon on it, and then I used a vintage silver button on there just to make it look a little bit dressier. And this is a picture of both of my boys with my oldest son's fiance. So, and then I also showed you this one yesterday, but we didn't do anything with it. I have a bazillion book projects, um, <laughs> hardcover, softcover, all kinds of different things. So anyways, I will be um, coming back live again later today, but I just wanted to show you how these turned out. Um, we used the wood stencil, the dog paw stencil, the leopard stencil, the polka dot stencil, and then we used a variety of different chalk pastes that are all from Magnolia Design Company. So if you want to take a peek, the, um, I pinned the link at the bottom. And um, anyways, I hope you, I'm going to take pictures of all these now, and I'll put them in the comments here and in the comments from yesterday's live. And then eventually I'll share them uh, just as pictures by themselves. But Anyways, I hope you liked this idea. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll, I'm going to go answer the comments right now. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for sprinkling. And I'll see you guys again later today. Thanks. Bye.